What if I told you you could play World of Warcraft at 240 FPS? Well, if you're not a WoW player, you might think, yeah, okay, it's a really old game. Of course you can play it at 240 FPS with the hardware we have now, but you are incorrect. Actually, even people with 4090s even struggle to stay in triple digits on the FPS in some situations because the engine's old. And uh, yeah, happy anniversary, 20th anniversary, World of Warcraft, by the way. Well, we can achieve that with an app that gives us frame generation called Lossless Scaling on Steam. It for the small price of only seven bucks, it's six eighty nine euros, and I believe it's six ninety nine USD. Um, but yes, this app is amazing. Originally, it was just meant for scaling up from lower resolution to higher resolution, but now the app has a frame generation feature. As we can see here, I open up the app, pull it up here. You can have x2 times 2 frames, x3 and x4. In this situation, we will be using the x4 mode on World of Warcraft, and I will be showing you how it works. Going back to Steam here for one moment, though, yeah, we can see this is a very, very highly rated app. 89% positive recent, 86% positive overall. And you might ask, okay, what could be so negative about um, extra frames, magical frames? Well, here's the disclaimer. It's not magic. It does, of course, require a bit of power. So most of the negative reviews are people with potato computers trying to run this app. If the game you're playing is already capping your GPU usage at 100%, it will not work. The frame generation will not work. It does require a bit of overhead. Now, of course, this depends on your GPU, but I generally say if you're uh, under 70% or under on your average GPU usage, you should be fine with lossless scaling frame generation for video games. This also, um, that spoiler alert, I might even go into a little bit this more at the end of the video, but this app, the frame generation even works for anime, um, any sort of movies, video players, you can be watching movies and anime at 96 frames per second using this app. Anyway, let's get into the game here in World of Warcraft. As we can see, I'll demonstrate how this works. In the upper left corner here, you can see two numbers. The number on the left is the actual frame rate, and the number on the right is the frame rate with the times four frame generation from lossless scaling. Now, I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, okay, maybe is this app actually drawing frames? Is this a placebo effect? Is it just drawing a number in the upper left corner and that's it? Well, that's why I went ahead and made a second recording of this exact same situation. We're playing in one of the most laggy events, uh, world events in World of Warcraft right now, where I often dip below 30 FPS. Now, we have one recording of just the game capture, and then we have a recording of the frame generation capture. The one on the left is without frame generation, the one on the right is with frame generation. Now, of course, you're watching a YouTube video, you're only seeing 60 FPS, but I can assure you that I am getting well above 120 to up to 150 FPS in this situation that we are recording right now. Now, I know some of you might say, okay, you said 240 FPS at the beginning of the video and in the video title. And yeah, that's because in most other situations in World of Warcraft, I do regularly get a stable 240 FPS when I'm doing dungeons or delves and that sort of thing. It's only certain open world situations and raid situations where I'll probably dip under, under 30 FPS or rather 120 with the four times frame generation. So as you can see here on the left, it's uh, if you pay close attention, it looks a, a bit jittery, and on the right, it is much more smooth. Um, one other caveat I sh almost forgot to mention is that with the frame generation, um, you will receive some more input lag. Personally, I don't notice it. I'm not very sensitive to input lag. There are some people who are very sensitive to it. So if you're very sensitive, you might want to go with X2 or X3 instead of X4. Um, people say that X2 or X3 are more tolerable, that are um, more sensitive to that input lag. Anyway, if you're having a hard time telling, uh, let's go ahead and slow down the video for a moment. I can slow down the video and effectively make it um, 
more easy to see the difference on YouTube at, at 60 FPS. So if I slow down the video, we're based it'll basically look like it's 15 FPS versus 60 FPS, 15 on the left and 60 on the right. And also it's not going to be perfect. So frame generation can also cause some uh, artifacting. Uh, this app in particular has some issues with really dark scenes and UI elements. You might notice the, my name plates on the screen will kind of flicker and, uh, and some of the UI elements might flicker a little bit here and there. Um, personally, it doesn't bother me at all. And I definitely prefer the mo more smooth, higher frame rate. Um, for the cost of, you know, just a little bit of artifacting here and there. But yeah, as you can see here from the left and the right, as we slowed it down, it just looks way more smooth on the right. There's a lot, a lot less motion blur and everything is just looking more, much more buttery smooth than you would normally get without the lossless, lossless scaling uh, frame generation. So yeah, I can only highly recommend this app. This is not an ad, by the way. The makers, the developers of lossless scaling are not paying me. They do not even know I'm making this video. I'm just making this video for other WoW players because, you know, the struggle to get frames in WoW is real. And uh, yeah, this is really 100%, 1000%, well, I guess four, 400% improved my wow experience <laughs> anyway i wanted to shout out the discord for lossless scaling by the way um because this their discord is great and they're very helpful you might have some troubles using the app i definitely highly re recommend hopping on the discord they have lots of really 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 um in-depth nerdy uh testing going on for this app um you can see that right here uh revenger he made an he tested a lot on how to use lossless scaling on a second GPU. So if you have a second GPU lying around, um, you can plug in a PCI Express slot uh, free. You can plug that GPU in and you can have your very own dedicated lossless scaling GPU. <laughs> if you're worried about your main GPU getting too uh, overworked, um, there's also lots of ex uh, guides and stuff in this discord for laptop users. If you have a laptop with a dedicated GPU and an integrated GPU, you can use lossless scaling on the integrated GPU and actually use the app on laptops. Um, yeah, by the way, if you're on, if you are a laptop user with just a, an integrated GPU, this will most likely not work. So probably just save yourself your seven bucks and save up for a, a better laptop or a better computer. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, yeah, this Discord is amazing. So if you're ever having issues, just uh, jump in the Discord. There's always people happy to help. All right, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments. But uh, yeah, for anything that's really in depth, I would, again, suggest that you go to the Discord. Peace out and GG's.